Good evening, everybody. The Kirksville baseball team started its season 2-0 over the weekend, but it wasn't easy. We played two comeback wins. We persevered. Uh, we didn't get down, and, and, and we just made, played good baseball at the end and, and came back and won a good baseball game. It was definitely nice to uh, get off the two wins after the way we played last year. I mean, the team that we had last year was special, and we're just going to try and uh, replicate that uh, same kind of team atmosphere and hopefully turn that into a bunch more wins going forward. In college baseball, Truman State split its four games over the weekend with Augustana. Each team won a game on Saturday and Sunday. Bulldog reliever Peter Young picked up a couple of saves, and in the process, he set a new all-time record for saves. He's our closer. Uh, he emerged about part, you know, about halfway through the season as a freshman, and uh, in his sophomore year, he's already got four saves. Uh, uh, which breaks uh, Dan Hillen's career record of nine. He's got, uh, Peter's got 10 now. In high school track, Kirksville will be strong in the distance races. We're building both teams from the distance down. You know, we got to start at the 3,200 and 1,600. We're going to build down from there. So, you know, we do feel that we're going to, on the track, those events, working them their way down to the 400 is going to be our strengths. Uh, we have a few field events that should be fairly strong this year, and we just we got to look to fill in around those as well. The Atlanta track team will have a little more experience in 2016. However, the numbers aren't great, but it does give the coaching staff more time for one-on-one -on -one instruction. I definitely understand each individual's uh, strengths and weaknesses. Um, I can help them work on anything they need to work on at any given time just because there's so few of them. But it also drives them because they understand that they're going to have to compete with teams that have 30, 40 participants. The Van Buren girls will be loaded in the distance, distance events this year. Morgan Croft, a freshman 3,000 runner, qualified for the state cross country meet. So we're looking for big things out of her. But she brought along some of her teammates, um, Audrey Smith, um, I look down here, Kylie Bass. It's been a great NCAA basketball tournament so far. It continues on Thursday on KTVO CBS at 610. It's Villanova and Miami. Then the Tiffany Network will show you KU in Maryland. And on Friday, Iowa State takes on Virginia. And finally, it's two teams nobody thought would be there.